Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Diamond Painting with Anxiety. I'm Karen. Super glad you stopped by. This is day seven, my seventh video of the seven day challenge. Um, I really want to take a minute to thank Nana for all the amazing hard work she put into this. If you haven't checked out Nana's channel, she's over at Nana of Seven Crafts. Be sure to check her out. She did an amazing job with, um, you know, putting this challenge together, motivating us, helping to keep us motivated. She did a playlist on her channel, moderated the group um, on Facebook that we were, I, I guess it was a messenger group. Um, so yeah, I just really appreciate everything she did. I really learned a lot from this challenge and I had a lot of fun with it. So um, I'm just really glad I did it. You may hear some banging in the background. Um, I apologize. Um, there's some stuff going on with the shelter. If you saw my video that was, oh my God, the shelter flooded whip and chat. Um, we did have some sprinklers. Um, a sprinkler had broken, which caused sprinklers to go off in the house, um, flooding four rooms and part of our hallway upstairs so they are done with the dry out process so they're kind of taking everything apart so if there's some banging in the background I apologize but today for this whip and chat I wanted to work on my um, 40 by 45 ever moment canvas which is be happy so there is what the um, entire image is going to look like. That's a little bit, oh, there we go. That's better. Um, this has been a really fun project. It's a little bit like a quilt, and I've been working on it like a quilt. I've been doing just one square at a time and completing that and just kind of putting it together. I did save the square kind of in the middle to work on with you guys during this last whip and chat of the 7 Day Channel. Because it's the square that says be happy. See? Just like uh, that one there in the middle. So I wanted to work on that um, cute little be happy saying in the heart today in this whip and chat. So I'm going to zoom you in um, so that you get a little bit better look at that. And then I might see if um, the light pad will help or hinder this process. But hang on just a second. It's going to bump a little bit. I apologize while I try to zoom in. Okay. That might be pretty good. Now let's see if the light pad makes it better or worse for you guys. Maybe a little bit better. We'll leave the light pad on. Make it a little bit easier for my tired eyes. So hopefully you've got a project you can work on too, and we will get busy and drop some drills, hopefully on our canvas and not on the floor, okay? But it's me, so we never know. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, this whole challenge and, and some of the things that I've learned by doing it. Um, and just, you know, some stuff with my final thoughts on the seven-day challenge. Like I said, I really enjoyed doing it. It's been kind of fun. I learned a lot. Um, first of all, I learned that I, because a lot of the time I will tell myself, you know, it's so difficult to film these videos. I don't have a lot of time. Which is true. I mean, nobody has tons of time. Oh, that banging in the background. I hope it's not going to be too distracting. It's a little bit distracting for me, but what can I say? Things happen. So, um, where was I? Yeah, you know, I mean, everybody's busy. Um, and I just will use that as an excuse a lot of the time not to do the not only the things I need to do but also the things that I want to do and one of the things I want to do is work on this channel a little bit see it grow a little bit it's still kind of my goal to get to a thousand subscribers 
where I go from there, what happens after that, I'm not quite sure. I've been pretty content for the last, I think I started my channel in April of last year. And I really truly have been content to just see my little channel grow really slowly. And to be quite honest with you, I'm still content to have that happen. But at the same time, I really enjoy the interaction. I enjoy telling you guys, you know, stuff about stuff that's going on here at the shelter, stuff I'm doing with my um, diamond painting with the residence program, um, you know, just different things like that. So the social aspect of having this channel has just been really huge for me. It's helped me step out of my comfort zone, helped keep me involved, you know, because I want people to participate in my channel and, you know, watch my videos and support what I'm doing. It's made me pretty careful to be sure that I support other people. So because of that, you know, <clears throat> I do attend lives and I do attend, watch people's videos and I leave comments and, you know, just kind of slowly getting to know people. So, you know, seeing my channel continue to grow, even if it's very slowly, is important just for that aspect. But as I said, what I will do with myself so often is tell myself, oh, it's just going to be too hard. I don't have enough time. I'm too disorganized. That's a that's a big part of why I don't film more videos is because things as far as like my storage situation, um, what I have in process, I you know, having a lot of half finished projects or whatever can really kind of um, keep me from it just keeps me feeling overwhelmed and just makes me not as likely to want to record. So that's one of the things that I have been working on for the last couple of months is just kind of getting my act together, keeping things a little more organized, keeping it so it's, you know, just easier for me to hop on here and record a video because as those of you that make videos know, and I think is a lot of you real even that don't make videos but that watch them realize is there's a lot that goes on besides just recording the video. You know, it, it comes down to even the simple things like making sure there's enough storage space in your room to, or in your room. Yeah, I need to make sure I have enough storage space in my room. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um you know, just being able to have enough storage in your phone is what I'm trying to say. To, you know, hold the recording, to do the recording that you want to do. Making sure your phone's set up properly, you know, and then you have to set your your camera up and your filming area and make decisions about, am I going to use the light pad, am I not? Um, what am I going to talk about? Do I have everything handy where I can just grab it to make filming this video easy? You know, so you, you go through all of that stuff. So you do all of that kind of, you know, setup and prep work. And then you make the video and that takes however long it takes. And you hope that it goes smoothly the first time. Because if it doesn't, you will, um, on the back end, you're either going to have to re-record that video, which happens sometimes. Or you might have to do some, you know, additional editing. So that takes some, um, you know, some work. And then there's the editing and the uploading and, you know, whatever thumbnail you're going to use. And I keep all of that stuff really simple, as you guys know. Um, because that's one of the things that kept me from recording for, you know recording very often for a long time now is the whole editing uploading process is just seems like a pain to me so I just have learned to keep it simple so 
You know, but what I learned this week with doing these seven videos in seven days was, first of all, even with my busy work schedule, it is possible. I could do it if I wanted to. I don't know that I would ever want to do um, seven videos a week, but it would be possible. Um, I proved that this week. I don't know that I would even want to do as many as five videos a week, um, but um, that would be possible too. I am going to think, once I get this video out there, I'm going to spend you know some time thinking about what do I want my next goal and challenge to be, even if that's just a challenge for myself. Um, so I don't know. It'll it'll be a, a, probably a couple of days before I decide what I want my my filming and my posting of videos to be like. Do I just want to continue to do one every few weeks? Do I want to do one every couple of days? You know, maybe three or four times a week. Do I just want to do it when I feel like it? I don't know. Those are those are things I still have to determine. But the important thing is, is that I realize that I can do it. So it kind of helped build my confidence in my ability to do those things in all those areas, to stay organized, to, you know, um, do the work in, the t in a timely manner. Even, you know, my channel's still small enough, and I don't know when this will change, but my channel's still small enough that... I can respond to every comment with, you know, usually within a day or two if I just take the time to do that. And I did that this week. I, I've stayed, you know, fairly current with the comments that were left on my videos. So it's built my confidence that I can make it work and I can do all of those things. Now, like I said, do I want to? That's a whole nother that's a whole nother subject. So I'm going to have to put some time and effort and thought into that, but I'm really glad I did this challenge and figured out that um, I am capable of way more than I even thought. And that's going to help in all parts of my life, not just with my channel and my diamond painting and all of that. Um, anytime we do anything that helps build our confidence, there's just this ripple effect into all the different parts of our lives. So I'm really excited and grateful about that. So I'm kind of ending this week on a bit of a, of a high note um, as far as the way I'm feeling about myself, the way I'm feeling about this channel. Um, I did get, you know, what I consider to be wonderful support from the community I got a lot of views this week, a lot of watch time. You know, I think my subscriber count um, went up by, I don't know, maybe a little over 20 subscribers. And again, I didn't do it for all of that. I did it to challenge myself and to see if I could pull it off. Um, but even though that wasn't the main purpose, it was nice you know, to see those things happen. So I just, you know, not only am I grateful to Nana for putting this um, challenge together, but I'm super grateful to all of you um, for, you know, the support that you've shown me this week and the support that you've shown me ever since I started this channel and the support I'm sure you'll continue to show me in the future. So I'm just super grateful, super glad I did this. Um, it was fun. And I did stay organized, and I did stay on top of things. And like I said, I'm cap I now know that I'm capable of doing that. So it's just a matter of me deciding where my priorities lie. So that's kind of where I'm at with all of that. Um, it's been... It's been an incredibly busy week um, besides doing the challenge I mean when I stop and kind of look back at everything that went on this week I'm not even sure that I'll remember to tell you everything this week was 
packed with, but I'm going to try. So besides my 9 to 5 job, I did work three shifts, um, <clears throat> you know, working as a substance use disorder counselor on Monday, Tuesday, and, oh, actually, no, and Friday. Yeah, I did a group on Friday. Um, so that kept me busy. Um, on Thursday, I worked an extra shift here at the shelter from 8.30 to 11. Thursday evening, well, let's start from Monday. So Monday, I worked, you know, my, my normal job and did... Um, Ran a group um, at my second job. Tuesday, I did my 9 to 5 job, ran the group. Uh, and then came home to the shelter having been flooded. So I, you know, did some work here um, at the shelter with helping. Or no, I think the, I think the flood might have been. I don't remember if it was Tuesday. I think it was Monday. I think the flood happened on Monday. Yeah. So Tuesday, I worked my 9 to 5, um, worked at the Substance Use Disorder Counseling, um, doing case management. Wednesday, I actually took the day off from both jobs. That's right. I took Wednesday off from both jobs, um, it was the anniversary of my daughter's death. She passed away six years ago Wednesday. Um, and for the past six years, um, on that day, I always take the day off and kind of just keep that day for my personal time. Uh, and, uh, you know, do whatever I feel led to do. It's kind of a day, it's not a day where I sit around and cry or feel sorry for myself or anything like that. I just kind of do whatever I feel led inside myself to do. Um, it, it's almost, I almost feel like it, it's a day I spend hanging out with my daughter. Um, this year, what I did is um, spend a little bit of time making some room in my life, um, you know, sort of in a symbolic way for her son um, because. More will be revealed about this soon, I'm sure, but um, in June, her son, who is 14 now, will be coming to live with me. So I thought that that was the best gift I could give my daughter and the best way to re remember her was just to do kind of some, some decluttering and rearranging so that when her son um, comes to live with me, that'll just be a little bit easier transition for me. So that felt really symbolic to me. I also went and got my hair done. Um, I got it cut and colored. I may be, in the next few weeks, I may be going to get a perm. I'm considering it. We'll see. So I did that. Um, Thursday, of course, I worked the 9 to 5. Um, uh, let me think. I didn't do a group on Thursday this week. Uh, what I did was... See, it's just it, it's just been such a busy, hectic week, it's even hard to remember. After my 9-to-5 job, we had our um, holiday party for uh, the co-workers here at the shelter. Usually, some years we've done it at Christmas time, but that time of year gets so busy that... Um, a couple of, of years since I've been here, rather than, you know, get together at Christmas time um, for a, a staff party, we do it after the first of the year. And um, the time that we did do that, um, it was in like January. This year they put it off a little bit um, longer and we did it on Thursday. And, and we kind of, she kind of did it with sort of a Valentine's theme. She got us all plants, so she bought um, tulips and uh, daffodils and hyacinths. And I chose a hyacinth. It's a beautiful pink color. It's beginning to bloom. It sits right in my windowsill um, 
where I, you know, look out my window. My diamond painting area is up against my window so I get lots of light so I can see out, see the kids playing in the yard. So my hyacinth is sitting right there and it's beautiful and I'm sure it's just beginning to bloom so I know it's going to smell amazing. So that was a nice little treat. So we did that um, from 6 to 8.30 and then, well 6 to 8. And then I came over, we had a nice dinner and all of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I came back to the shelter, um, covered a shift for another RM who was on vacation. And then Friday, I did, of course, my 9 to 5 job. And um, then came home and the residents and I... If you haven't had a chance to see that video, um, on Wednesday, another thing I did on Wednesday when I took the day off is I walked over the beautiful canvas that one of our residents had completed that we are going to be um, sending to a nearby shelter that we kind of um, are in coalition with. There's a big um, program down here where all the shelters cooperate to, you know, help um, get people the housing they need and share resources and stuff like that. So one of the shelters that um, we've been working pretty closely with, we donated a diamond painting to. It's a beautiful um, diamond painting, mother and child, um, that was completed. It was sent to us by one of our supporters, um, completed by one of our residents, we framed it, and now the director here at the shelter is going to go take that painting to another shelter as a gift. So I walked that over to her on Wednesday, and when I did, and everybody was oohing and on about how gorgeous it was, um, the director asked me if, the res if I would do another diamond painting with the residents that we could use for our... Um, one of our annual fundraisers that happens in May, they always do a silent auction. And so she wanted a diamond painting that um, we could place in the auction that had been done by the residents and I. So on Friday night, I got to take a sip of my coffee. Sorry. <coughs> so on Friday night, the residents and I started that. We worked on it for a few hours on Friday night. We worked on it for a few hours last night. Made some progress. Um, it, I let the I took two different paintings to the director and let her choose the one that she you know wanted, and she chose um, Shepherd's Cottage by Diamond Art Club. So it's kind of big. It is a round. Um, I am going to do an update video for that probably shortly after I finish this one. And um, I struggle a little bit with rounds. I prefer squares. Um, rounds take me a little bit longer because it's probably just me, but I fight with them a little more. Um, I have a tendency to, for some reason, I just can't line them up as well. I think the squares... Because they need to fit all together, it just, I don't know, it just kind of helps me. It's just a little easier for me. I have more of a tendency to get things crooked with rounds than I do with squares. So we're doing some sort of special finagling to, um, you know, c combat some of those issues. Because what I really find is with a lot of people working on a diamond painting, some of those issues with things, you know, not lining up and symbols showing and things like that can be, you know, a little more problematic. But it, you know, it is looking really nice. We were really excited. Um, for the next two weeks, we will work on that painting on Friday nights, um, Saturday nights, if we have time. I'm going to see how much progress we get done in a couple of weeks. And then at that point, I'll decide whether or not we have to continue to just work on that. Because it has to be done by May, um, which is still quite a ways off. Um, I forget how big that painting is, but it's, it's a good size. Um, 
definitely not as big as the path project but it's pretty good size um so once i once i have a couple of weeks and i can kind of see how quickly we're making progress on that i'll be able to decide whether we got to work on that exclusively until we get it done or because the residents were a little bit sad they were like oh so this means we're not going to work on the path project right now and i'm like well you know, we'll see. We'll see if we, we can maybe, maybe what we can do, and I'm hopeful that it'll work out this way, is alternate weeks and work on the um, the Shepherd's Cottage one week and the Path Project another on another week. So we'll see how that goes. So that was, that was Friday night. Yesterday was Saturday. We were very blessed here at the shelter and... Um, there's a young man named Ryan Hickman, who is 10 years old, I believe, who owns his own um, recycling company. And what he does is collects recycling and takes it and turns it in. And he's built a real deal, legit company out of that. He's been on the Ellen Show. He's got you know, a lot of followers on Instagram, Facebook, things like that. Um, he's He does a lot of public speaking, teaching people how to, um, you know, recycle correctly and giving them recycling tips, all kinds of stuff. So he's really kind of a, a big deal. Um, so it was really fun on Saturday because he came to the shelter he partners with Kidbox, and they, um, he's on the, the, I think it's called Giving Back, or Kids Box Giving Back, or something. Anyway, he's, he's part of, he's on the board, and he was chosen to select a charity for Kids Box to, um, donate new clothing to, and, Ryan Hickman chose our shelter. So um, it was really exciting. He came over, brought pizza, gave the kids a little little talk on recycling. They passed out bags full of clothing. Um, we, get, we got cupcakes, a pinata, turned it into a whole little party. It was really amazing. So we're really grateful to Ryan Hickman from uh, Ryan Recycles and... Uh, and kids box kid box as well um, for you know that donation so that was really fun um, but it ended up you know as typical when something like that happens here at the shelter it ended up being quite a bit of work um, I did work until instead of I normally work anywhere from 9 to and I get off on Saturdays anywhere from noon to 1 o'clock yesterday I worked until 3 and also, with that flood, there was all the laundry to do um, from those rooms, that those four rooms that got flooded. They do have bunk beds, so basically it was eight beds worth of bedding, towels, um, throw rugs. The residents did all their, you know, their clothes, their personal laundry, but... Still, um, I spent from about nine o'clock yesterday morning <coughs> until, sorry about that. Oh, and there goes a siren. Oh, it's an ambulance. Oh my goodness. Hope everyone's okay. Um, I, so I did spend from about nine o'clock yesterday until, um, about nine o'clock last night uh, doing laundry. <laughs> so, oh my God, it was terrible. I've got it all folded. It's in a pile in the uh, director's office. So tonight when the IRM um, is, that's working tonight comes on shift, I'm gonna go in and have him help me. And what we'll have to do is take, cause I've got it all folded and it's in a big pile on a desk, or no, a table, not a desk, I meant a table, I meant to say table. It's in a big pile on a table, and we'll have to 
sort that out and as far as like find um, which set of sheets are for the the double beds that we have, which ones are twin beds, which comforters belong in which rooms, their mattress pads. The, the beds have plastic, um, well, vinyl um, mattress um, enclosures on them, then topped by a waterproof mattress pad, and then, of course, their sheets and their blankets. Um, so I'll have to figure out which mattress pads belong on what which beds because we have them labeled like the rooms are labeled a b c d all the way through n um and so i'll have to figure out which <coughs> mattress pad goes with which blanket and comforter and sheet set and yeah just get that all straightened out and make sure that everybody has their towels back and yeah, it's just going to be, it's going to be a lot of work, but we'll get through it. <coughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why I can't stop coughing today. So, that was, you know, it's been a pretty busy weekend, or pretty busy week, and weekend. Um, I am very fortunate that I do get President's Day off, as a paid day off, um, from my nine to five job so I don't have to go into work for that to, uh, tomorrow but I do need to um, go and run my substance use disorder group so that'll be okay I get most of the day off I'll have to leave probably about mm, five o'clock and go and work for a couple of hours but I should have most of the day to myself yesterday so that's going to be really nice Look at that. I did the letters. Be happy. Let's see. What else? What else do I want to tell you guys about? I don't know. I think that might be that might be pretty much it. Um, you know, maybe not the most exciting whip and chap in the world, but I just like I said, wanted to give you guys my my final thoughts on, you know, this whole 7-day challenge. It was definitely worth doing. I learned a lot about myself, learned that I'm capable of more than I even believed possible, gained a lot of confidence um, in my abilities to manage things. And that's important because I got a lot on my plate and, and I do have to really decide, you know, what my priorities are. And as I've said many times, um, you know, my hobby is diamond painting. And creating these videos um, and, you know, having a YouTube channel, in a sense, that's really kind of like the secondary hobby and sort of a social thing for me. So, you know, I am going to have to take a hard look at, you know, how much do I want to continue to do on my channel now that I know it's possible now I can make some informed decisions um, for myself as far as like how much time I actually want to invest in this um, but before I knew for certain what I could do even with a very busy week like I had this week um, it was really easy to just do nothing and tell myself, well, I am too busy. I don't have time. It's too big a hassle. I can't make it work out. You know, all of those negative things that I tell myself in my head. And that's not healthy. So that's why I wanted to do this channel. So for me, it was a tremendous success. You know, not only that, but I got a lot of stuff done, like some unboxings that needed to be done that I was waiting until I had time to do a video. You know, I got some framing done. Um, you know, lots of fun stuff. So I think what you can be looking forward to seeing, you know, from me in the next <clears throat> week or so is definitely an update video on our Project with a Purpose number three. Um, with the 
uh, Shepherd's Cottage that we're creating for the fundraiser. Um, so I will be, definitely be doing a video on that, if not today, then tomorrow for sure. So you'll be seeing that. Um, you will definitely be seeing another framing video where I've got um, some creative ideas for, um, you know, framing at least one or two projects. I'm not sure if I'm going to combine those or do those videos separately, but I've got some unusual framing ideas that um, I want to film and, and um, get up for you guys. Also, I've got, I think, about four more um, things to unbox. I'm kind of on a no-buy right now, so going forward, you guys won't see a tremendous amount of unboxings from me, but, you know, maybe every once in a while. Because um, I really, you know, like I've, I said in my, my last Choose a Painting with Me video, um, I've got 51 projects, so, you know, I got a lot of stuff to work on. I don't need to be buying anything else, but we'll see what happens. There may be special things I need to get or I want to get. We'll see, but probably not a whole lot of unboxings this year. Let's hope not anyway. So, but yeah, you will probably see an unboxing this week. And the other thing that I do know you will be seeing for sure this week is another um, Lucky Dip random draw um, project video for me. I love doing, doing, choosing my paintings that way. Um, so I will be doing that this week for sure because, you know, on this um, Be Happy project, I've got the centerpiece, and then I have, let's see, let me zoom you back out again, since we're about finished. So I have the centerpiece to finish, and then two blocks up here, and then here at the very, very top, like right there, all the way across, it's about mm, that big, there's like a border strip. So I'm really confident that I will get this piece finished by the end of this week. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my next project probably today or tomorrow um, so that when this piece is finished, I do have, a, you know, the next piece to, to be ready to move on to. Um, and if I don't do the video for that, this weekend, it might be a little bit tougher to get it done. So it seems to me like, you know, the goal I'm setting for myself <coughs> is four videos this week. So there would be the update video, an unboxing, a project choice, and a framing video. Awesome. So that's going to be, that's going to be my focus. Um, I would like to have those videos filmed by Saturday um, so that on Sunday of next week, I can kind of just restart my week. Maybe on Sunday, I'll do a whip and chat. We shall see. Um, maybe not. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. That's where we're going, at least for right now. So yeah. I think I'm going to commit to you guys, oh shoot, and right at the end, I spill my drill. See what I mean, you guys? It, it's me. We never know what happens. Oh, thank goodness it's not too bad. I'll clean these up off once I, once I uh, stop. I'll just pick a few of them up as I go. As I say goodbye, so... Um, if you're new to my channel, I do crazy things like spill my drills all the time. That's why I always say, let's drop some drills, hopefully on our canvas and not on the floor. But you don't want to drop them all at once like I just did. It's not too bad, though. I'm not going to, not even going to stress. And yes, I usually just pick them up with my fingers. I just find that to be the easiest. So, a little handy dandy tip. You can just peel these little pesky spilled drills off of your fingers and I've already got most of them so it wasn't a huge bad spill but but anyway I digress so um 
I do want to, if you're new here, I do do crazy things like this from time to time. And I do ramble. And I do go down rabbit trails um, with my speech. So, you know, it's me. That's what we all love about Miss Karen is it's amateur hour. <coughs> but at any rate, if you're new, welcome. I would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification notification bell so that you will be notified when I do those three or four videos a week. If you're a regular here, thanks for coming back. Bye. I'm loving this project. It's working up so well. So much fun. It's ever moment, so the quality is great. The drills are great. I'm really having a fun time with it. I want you guys to just keep in mind that it is possible to change lives one drill at a time even if it's our own life because when we change our lives especially if we change them for the better the entire world's going to be a better place so thanks for watching i'll see you guys soon